Oh yeah, I'm in the lab cooking Frofro. Yo, what's good, Ratchet? I see you've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately. You whipping up some of that green rock? You know what I'm saying? That synthetic energon? Bro, you must think you're the Cybertronian Walter White or something, oh god. Oh, you already know, bro. Once I cook up some more of this rock, I'll be able to eventually mass produce it for all Autobots galaxy-wide. Think I'll be able to have some? For testing purposes? Huh? Bro, this is not how business works. I don't give out free samples around here. What do you think this is? I don't get any income for handing out freebies around here, little bro. Go back to smoking up that Reggie with your fellow high school dropouts or something. But I do need to test this product, though. Gotta make sure it's potent enough to leave them wanting more and more. That's it! No! I'm so throwed. Ladies, gentlemen, humans of all races and ages, shout out to you guys for clicking on yet another Izzy Man Diaz video. Y'all be calling me the goat, but it's really you guys, for real, for real. I wouldn't be here cooking up some heat if it weren't for you. But anyway, as you saw for that crazy intro, I'm going to be covering Ratchet, the Cybertronian El Chapo for this video. Look, I know I promised you guys Grimlock and that video will be coming very soon, but I asked you guys to get a community post of 50 likes and you absolute goats blew it out of the water. So you just know I had to hit you up with this Ratchet video, man. If you guys really want Grimlock next, then we gotta hit at least 500 likes on this video. Do that and I got y'all. I swear to God. Like and subscribe too. Or else you're a loser, bro. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Nobody wants to be called a loser, man. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just being honest. I call my channel The Restaurant and it's open for everybody. Don't be lame, bro. You better come and support. Also, check out my gaming channel on my TikTok too. Links are in the description. Well, yeah, dog. That's all I got for the intro. So without further ado, grab your snacks, guzzle a bottle of water, Hook up with your significant other? <laughs> I don't know, man. Just get comfy, kick your feet up, and strap in. Oh, Lord. The story of our robotic drug lord, Ratchet, starts off when Autobots are chasing after the Decepticons' energon supply. RC suffered a severe case of main character syndrome and decided to pull up Lone Wolf style on an entire squadron of Decepticons. However, the aerial vehicon struck her with a missile and proceeded to surround her, bro. These thirsty freaks were ready to put RC on a casting couch, bro. They were trying to discombobulate her tailpipe. Oh my god. Right before RC was about to get smoked, Ratchet, who passed out from being under the influence in the beginning of the video, pulled up and he started working these Decepticons. Bro, this man spawned in during the middle of the match and slammed himself on one of these jobbers. The dust settles and all you see is Ratchet lift the dude up and toss him at another. Ratchet kicked dude in the chest and proceeded to do some crazy acrobatics mixed in with sword fighting on everyone else, bro. One dude got his arm sliced off and kicked off screen. The next dude got kicked in the cranium and got stabbed. Ratchet runs up on two goons, blasting him and offs them. Bro, this man is double jumping and grabbing people while still in midair, bro. How is this even possible? Do the rules of physics not apply to him or something? Ratchet smoked this one guy by ground pounding his face. Other dude got Kirk Patrick in the chin to straight buried man six feet under. At this point, the rest of the Autobots start pulling up, but Ratchet was too busy earning a 20 plus kill streak on these dweebs, bro. I'm being honest. One loser got stabbed, but the last video con saw his mans get rolled into a pack and decided to catch that main character syndrome. Bro jumped in the air and posed with his glizzy. <laughs> I got a quote code name Super here, but dude thought he was in an edit. Ratchet nope. grabbed bro out of the air and humbled him and did a victory pose on their corpses. A drone tried to sneak around guy but ratchet minked him without looking at bro and decided to hit the hoo-ha on him like bro just because of how disrespectful that was i gotta add at least 20 to the violation counter man dog even outside of the battlefield them synthetic steroids had ratchet acting like a demon back at home base too ratchet was showing bulkhead how he rolled all of the decepticons in a cybertronian sized blunts ratchet needed bulkhead to charge towards him so he could properly show everyone how it's done but bulkhead was like nah he wasn't trying to hurt anybody i respect it ratchet didn't like this though he said bulkhead looked like the transformers equivalent of peter griffin and pimp slapped him how you let the medic out of everyone do this to you man me personally i would have never let this slide i'm just saying at this point bulkhead got triggered he rushed towards ratchet but Cybertronian El Chapo tossed him through the wall. Bro, this man not only threatened Bumblebee, but he was flirting with RC too? Dog, you are a medic, not a jock. You should be in the lab, not out here hitting on women, dog. But yo, taking drugs don't get you any coochie, Ratchet, and that goes for all of you too. Put the needle or pills down, bro, and won't take away the pain. It'll only make it greater for you and everybody else, man. I'm just being honest. Ratchet, while still under the influence from that green rock, 
pulled up on a Decepticon mining operation with the rest of the Autobots. Ratchet transformed and rammed into this one random level 1 thug. Pause. Ramming into him is crazy. But Ratchet stabbed that same guy while everyone else packed up the other surrounding Decepticon goons. Ratchet noticed something. He saw a little straggler trying to run for his life. Bro saw a Decepticon the size of a Cybertronian child and decided to channel his inner EDP and ran after him. That boy don't have any cupcakes on him, bro. Ratchet, leave him alone. Ratchet decided to violate this unfortunate soul for no reason, though. Bro picked up a rock, channeled his inner Tom Brady, and sniped the bro from several hundred meters away, all while using said rock. Bro was just trying to crawl away, but Ratchet stomped him and proceeded to T-word him for info regarding Megatron's whereabouts. Ratchet told dude, you're done. There's no way out of this one. And gave Lil Bro generational trauma, man. Calm down. Optimus and the rest of the Autobots noticed this and tried to stop him. But I'll be honest, y'all. Ratchet started talking to Optimus crazy. This is basically how the conversation went. Just watch this. Ratchet, what in God's name are you doing? That was a Decepticon miner. He's a servant, not a warrior. Get it together or get cut from the team. Actually, Optimus, you called me minor, but I'm pretty sure he was well over the age of 18. Like, that even matters. Why would you even think Megatron would conscript underage Decepticons? Who do you think I am? EDP or something? You know what? That doesn't even matter. Optimus, us Autobots have been getting raw dog by the Decepticons for thousands of years. It's time for us to take no prisoners in this war. No prisoners. No survivors. No mercy. Remember RC's treacherous twin, Cliffjumper? He didn't survive because he got his tight tailpipe railed by Starscream, and you all never took action. Bunch of virgins, man. Optimus, you especially should be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a prime, this high and mighty leader. But all you have been leading is a batch of sorry excuses and waste of energon. Stand up for yourselves or live the rest of your days in ignominy. Wow. No. Oh, whoa. That entire speech was wild, bro. Good lord. But you still channeled your inner EDP, though, bro. You, you thought I forgot? <laughs> Ratchet got put on timeout and was ordered to return back to home base, though. Bro was pissed off and walked into the portal so he can eventually chill out and think about his actions. Until he turned back around, tossed Bulkhead around like he was a trash mob, and transformed away. Oh my god, can somebody stop this man? Synthetic Energon is doing more damage to our community than crack in the 80s, bro. Jesus Christ. Ratchet finally got his wish of running the ones with Megatron. You guys have got to see this. Just watch. Ratchet off-screen breakdown and ran up on Megatron with maximum aggression and minked Megatron so hard in his face that he got sent flying back into the wall. Ratchet got metal balls for this, bro. Pulling up on Megatron was an audacious move. I'm just being honest. Ratchet tries to slug bro again, but Himatron grabbed bro's nope. arm, twisted it, and struck him in his side. Bro, that synthetic Energon started oozing out of Ratchet's robo kidney, man. It looked nasty on God. Megatron then tossed bro to the side and basically left him to drown in a pool of his own bodily fluids. Well, God damn! What an end to the Walter White episode of Transformers Prime. <laughs> Ratchet got lucky and he did survive this whole ordeal, but in all seriousness, bro, please stay away from drugs. Or at the very least, depending on your uh, situation or circumstances, just be responsible, man. That's all I got. Well, gang, we made it to the end of the video. I just want to thank every single one of you guys for sticking with me, man. We just broke over 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Oh my god. This doesn't even feel real, man. Just five months ago, I remember when I was making Borderlands content. Like, even back then, I was shocked that I had an audience watching me. So coming from then to now is just, just wild, bro. Like, <laughs> I gotta say it again, but thank you guys, man. I truly appreciate y'all. I gotta think of ways to repay you guys or something, but this is, this is, this is still crazy. The fact that there's other, like, bigger commentary-based YouTubers out there, and yet you guys are, like, rocking with me? Like, that, like, that's crazy, bro. That is so crazy. Oh, man, I, I really, truly appreciate every single one of you guys for clicking on my videos, man. Much love. Next milestone, though, is, uh, uh, Jesus. Next milestone, though, is 10K, bro. The restaurant is getting bigger, and I'm here for it. The only way up is forward, bro. For real, for real. All right, well, Grimlock will definitely be the next video. So if you're new to the channel and like the vibes you got going around here, then remember to hit that like and subscribe, man. Remember, we gotta hit at least 500 likes for this video for the Grimlock one. So yeah, bro, let's do it. All right, I'm low-key starting to feel bad for holding you guys up. So I'm just gonna dip. But like always, I love every single one of you guys, man. Stay safe, stay hydrated, remember to eat food, and be kind to each other, man. That's all I ask. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all I got. Peace out.